Okay, um, I said I wasn't going to focus on this, but I need to keep an eye on it because they are burning Australia. They are burning the world, um, and they are making everybody focus on California. Um, also, I think the focus on California is because there are so many people that are awake and... Um, and showing the evidence in their videos, doing the research, showing that it's an attack, um, giving us all the information that we need to know that these fires are being created, um, the wind is being controlled, uh, all of that. Um, and I've just been looking through a few videos um, here of what's been going on here, uh, especially in New South Wales, and um, it it got it was brought to my attention uh, on um, at the beginning of August this year. But if you do a search, if you do a search YouTube search um, on New South Wales bushfires you will see that this has been ongoing. Um, we are in a severe drought which has been caused by weather manipulation. Um, and it's like all the, it took, I uh, scrolled through, I don't know, probably about 20 mainstream videos. Um, I haven't found any YouTube, like normal YouTube normal. <laughs> I haven't found any YouTube channels um, with uh, bushfire footage except for mainstream. Um, on this, uh, it, yeah, um, apart from no script, um, I'm, I'm not forgetting about you, no script. Um, thank you again. Uh, yeah, uh, I, uh, there's, they go back um, at least the last over a year, um, they're, you know, they're random, they're from two months ago, they're from two weeks ago, they're from eight months ago, they're from a year ago. Um, anyway, uh, I'll show you before I get into this, I can show you. Sorry, I'm just, um, I, I know this has been happening, but to see it, to see it, um, yeah, and all the flare-ups um, match the California ones. Um, they're targeting specific areas, uh, mainly the top of New South Wales and uh, southern Queensland along the border um, near the coast. Uh, that area um, is being severely targeted uh, by these bushfires. Um, I've noticed a pattern, uh, there'll be like three fires popping up at the same time and this has been ongoing um, like over and over, three fires, three fires, three fires for the last few months at least. Um, yeah, so you see three weeks ago, three days ago, one month ago, two days ago, this is all in the same area, this is all north of me, two weeks ago two weeks ago, one month ago, eleven months ago, two weeks ago, three days ago, one month ago, two days ago, three days ago, two weeks ago, and you get the gist. Okay, so this was um, on July 31st this year. So we're not even uh, taking into account the last two years of repeated bushfires uh, in New South Wales, um, not to mention the rest of the country. Uh, Tasmania got burned last year as well. Um, I say somewhere on this video, uh, uh, not Tasmania again. Um, yeah, it's, it, the fires are burning in areas that uh, they've never burned in before. The rainforests are disappearing. Uh, rainforests. Um, I don't know too much about the Amazon, uh, but I know that that has been the focus a lot 
lately um, and and I've seen um, uh, reports where it's burning um, the Amazon is a type of rainforest am I correct so it's happening all over the world um, I'm just trying to show you uh, the connections um, if you're not awake and aware uh, please um, think outside the box um, look at things from a different perspective uh, look at the whole picture not just bits and pieces um, because it's it's the same repeating pattern over the entire planet okay so July 31st uh, I just wanted to show you something here New South Wales. Affected, including Tenterfield, Inverell, Glen Innes Severin, Armidale Regional, Urala and Walker Councils. On the Mid-North Coast, Nambucca, Kempsey, Port Macquarie Hastings and Mid-North Coast Councils are covered. Okay, this is um, a warning. I'll just go back to the start, actually. Uh, for 12 regions, um, I mentioned on this video somewhere I've noticed fires popping up in threes um, and four threes are twelve uh, yeah so I'm just looking at the numbers there um, Port Macquarie is uh, also mentioned on this video somewhere um, as part of uh, the main area that's being targeted in northern New South Wales um, Okay, and yeah, it's there on the list, July 31st. Um, things didn't start getting really bad until after that. Uh, so yeah, I'll just go back to where she talks about 12 regions. Well, 12 regions in New South Wales have been pushed into their fire danger period two months earlier than normal. The drought that has lasted up to two years in some parts of the state is to blame. There we go. 97.4. Right, now while I'm here, uh, I just want to make this video complete uh, so that I don't have to make little ones um, backing up what I'm seeing uh, in this part of the world. So, okay, so, oh, if you haven't, if you didn't get notified, I just uploaded um, the Cosmic Essence. Uh, latest video on Cosmic so <laughs> so please check it out um, yeah uh, it's a good one um, anyway uh, what else did I want to show you while I was here um, uh, where was it here it is this is my video 22nd of August, three places targeted at once. Emergency just north of Brisbane, with residents told to be... Please excuse me, um, uh, tell him mum to be quiet. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, she, yeah, for those who don't know, she has dementia. I'm on a break right now, um, on holiday. Uh, but um, every time, every every single time, uh, the timing of that disease is perfect when it comes to interruptions, uh, and it can be quite um, frustrating and challenging. Uh, anyway, so yeah, uh, sorry, but yeah, <laughs> this is yeah, this is one I uploaded on the twenty second of August. So. Belmont on Lake Macquarie told to take shelter with a blaze burning within 200 metres of homes. Reporter Serena Andaloro is tracking this story for us tonight. Serena, hello, what's your advice for those in the area tonight? Mm. Well, Michael, an emergency alert has been issued. Mm. Residents mm. urged to seek shelter in a solid structure without delay as the fire front nears burning out of control near homes. Strong southerly winds are pushing flames towards several streets. They are... Goulding Avenue, Railway Crescent, Cullaroo Road, John Darling Avenue and John Fisher Road. A warning from the RFS. Okay, so that's Belmont. Who's there, Isabel? What's the latest? 
Well, Michael, six houses have been evacuated in Narangba after that large grass fire broke out at about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Firefighters have told us they've got nine crews on the scene tonight and they've just called in the Rural Fire Brigade. An emergency situation has been declared and a watch and act announced. Residents have been told that they need to be prepared to leave their homes. Okay, so that was three fires um, on the 22nd of August. Uh, just trying to find the other video that had the three. So I'm seeing it over and over and over. Here. Firefighters for helping to save their homes as a bush. Dara Wank and Kanangawala. Many residents were forced to flee their homes yesterday, and there are fears two homes have been destroyed. All hands on deck in Darawang. Just be aware, be vigilant, and um, don't. So there we go. That was another three. Um, I'm just trying to find the one. Uh, where was it? I'll go into my history because I just watched it. Um, two people have been found dead in their house. That was two weeks ago. Um, they were reported as missing and they found them dead in their house uh, from a bushfire, an elderly couple. Um, look at that. F destroy 52 homes in northern New South Wales. Uh, three homes in northern New South Wales one month ago, two weeks ago. This is all mainstream. Um, they're blaming arsonists. They're blaming uh, lightning. Um, they're blaming the drought. Uh, and I'm seeing when I watch these videos, I'm seeing trees and posts burning from the inside. Um, I'm hearing uh, people that went through these fires and survived. Uh, talk about how a grass fire um, just appeared um, in front of them uh, and um, other people talking about the wind suddenly changing direction um, other people uh, it's, the, it, a lot of it is on this video that I'm looking for um, I'll just go to my history was this one. Um, I don't want to play all of it because I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, so, I'll just skim through it. 7.30's Nadia Daly is in Casino. Nadia, what's the latest on the fire today? Well, tonight, Lee, dozens of fires are still burning around the state. Uh, 29 houses have been destroyed, 130 have been saved. Nadia, what can you tell us about the bodies that were found today? Well, yesterday police made the very grim discovery of two... Okay, so I just, I just spoke about that, so we don't need to hear it again. But here's some of the um, aftermath. Rapville is still smouldering, but the clean-up has already begun. While the local pub still stands, 21 homes have been lost and almost entire streets wiped out. Ninety-year-old Jane Harris. This was two weeks ago. 
I just want to show you that. Um, sorry, I'm not as good at making these videos as uh, others, but this needs to be shared. Um, this information needs to be shared because the world is going down um, and people need to wake up. Uh, we've been so blinded, uh, we're so mind controlled, we're so asleep that um, a lot of people uh, don't even know what to do when when a fire is on top of them. Um, run! <laughs> yeah, uh, people want to stay and defend their home? No, um, run! Please run! Uh, because these are targeted attacks um, even even mainstream, the latest catchphrase is leave or die. Um, I saw that on the TV. Home. It's partly melted, the aluminium. Look at that. Jane fled with just the clothes she was wearing. Well, it's sure a mess, isn't it? It's still sinking in for you? What yes, is yes. It hasn't hit bottom yet, but I suppose it will eventually. That was mother's mother's wedding dress. So this was a bit of your, this is your wedding dress, Jane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Gosh. And the heat was so intense, it's just disintegrated. Even though it was in a box, it's just disintegrated. It. So this is this See, was a white. Listen to what they're saying. Yeah. yeah. What white they're saying. Dress. Dress. Describing. Dress. Yeah. Jeez. What does Sorry. it feel like to see? What they're this? saying is describing directed energy attacks. Um, people are saying uh, they've never seen anything like it, um, and they've lived through blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, it was on this video somewhere, um, and they've never seen anything like it. This really gives you a sense of what happened here. The fires torn through, fueled by what was waist high grass, and along the way, it's torn down these power lines. Okay, so this is what affected me. Um, this is what really upset me just before I hit record. Um, she just said tore through waist high grass. I was just in a conversation earlier today um, saying that Canberra is dry, uh, everything is dry and crackly, all the grass, and they're not mowing it. It's, it's up to my thigh, it's up to my thigh, wherever I go, in between the suburbs. Um, the nickname of Canberra is the bush capital. Uh, New South Wales is on fire. Um, yeah, uh, wow, um, and they haven't mowed the grass and it's dry and crackly, um, and so I looked this up, that's two suburbs away from me. out of control. <clears throat> um, yeah. Grass fire in probably uh, nearly waist high grass that's dry and crackly. Um, I used to, I, would, I grew up here. I spent half of my life living here. This is, is that today? That's today. Out of control bushfire at Port Macquarie. Blankets, Sydney, in a smoke haze. Sydney is six hours south of Port Macquarie. Um, so imagine how bad that fire is. Uh, and this is not the first one. It's probably the same fire. Who knows? Um, Port Macquarie is in the targeted area, um, northern New South Wales. Uh, Tasmania again. Hobart is the capital city of Tasmania. Wow. Wow. Um, the video that I just had on, 
uh, they they barely have a water supply um, and they've now been told uh, to boil their water first before using it uh, because of the ash um, produced by these fires uh, so yeah um, wow Okay, um, just run, just run, um, don't uh, hang around and try and save, save property and physical possessions, um, if you die in the fire you can't take them with you anyway, uh, so just, yeah, just run. Um, Okay, um, if, if you haven't seen my last video that I put up, um, you'll know why uh, my reaction is so severe. Um, yeah, I know people um, that, are going, that are going through or have been through the California fires. Um, yeah, so I've been keeping a close eye on that and I haven't been watching my own country uh, and now I'm looking, now I know what to look for. Um, we're all being attacked. It was just a small little grass fire and um, we just kind of came out the front and saw it happen and within about two minutes it was climbing up the trees. So we called them out, they came over. Despite conditions easing overnight, this fire on the lake's way is proving to be a battle for firefighters. Their main concern is this fire jumping from across the road to the properties just over here. At least one home has been damaged as assessment team. Okay, and that was three days ago. It's now the 30th of October. Um, and uh, you just heard her say the grass fire just happened in front of them. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, there's one more thing um, that I wanted to show you so that I can complete this video and um, stop for a little while uh, and focus on um, the positive. Uh, okay, and then I saw this today. Um, yeah, uh, I'm from this area. Um, I used to walk past the Koala Hospital in Port Macquarie every day to go to school. Um, they have a crossing. There's a main road that goes alongside it. Uh, it's in the middle of a mini rainforest. <laughs> it's hard to describe. Um, but there's a main road uh, going through the middle. The Koala Hospital is on one side and it's the only place I know of in the country that has a koala crossing. Um, the cars have to uh, be very aware of koalas in the area and they have to stop and wait for them to cross the road, um, which was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so I will put this link in the description. Um, now that I'm here in Canberra, I haven't seen a koala in the wild um, because they're not close to town. Uh, they're, they're a different type. They're uh, more brown in colour and uh, they're out in the in the forests, in the mountains. Um, but in Port Macquarie they, we used to have them everywhere. Um, we could see them in the trees, we could hear them in the trees. Um, I used to get them walking around in my backyard. Uh, we even rescued one that wasn't feeling well, um, that took sanctuary in the backyard one day. Uh, because when they're not feeling well they can get pretty ferocious and look at the size of their claws. Um, to not frighten them any further, uh, we called the um, koala hospital and they said until they, until they can get there uh, we were to put a towel just leave it, leave it where it is, um, not to stir it up, and just put a towel uh, over it um, to help calm it down, and it worked. 
uh, yeah, and then, then the rescue people came um, and took it away to the hospital. So, yeah, this is, this is bad. Um, yeah, uh, they get rescued and um, rehabilitated and then put back out into the wild um, as uh, either in their original habitat because they're very territorial um, or as close to if their habitat is gone and the fires are burning all the koalas um, homes and the koalas so yeah I had to I had to add that um, yeah, uh, because Port Macquarie is in the targeted area. Okay, so I think I've got everything covered now. Um, I'm I'm done with this video. Uh, just want to get it out there. Um, okay, uh, <laughs> I will insert this <laughs> in my editing. Um, okay. So, uh, please stay alert. Um, the vid uh, I was watching Never Lose Truth. She, I'll put a link in the description. She is f fantastic. She is fantastic. She's on it. Um, she's on the ball. She knows what she's talking about. She's done the research for years and years and years, just like some of the other channels. Um, Logic Before Authority. Uh, uh, a plain truth um, and and they are um, relentlessly keeping us up to date uh, with the California fires um, so if you're here in Australia watch those videos um, they they uh, like like Carol on never lose truth um, I quote her, um, the research has been done, all you need to do is watch the videos and then once you know what to look for, um, apply that to what's going on here in our country um, and in the, rest of, on the, in the rest of the world and you will see, um, you will see uh, mainstream uh, separates uh, everything and doesn't report don't trust mainstream they're, they're, it's a script um, they deliberately don't report things uh, they deliberately keep uh, news stories that are connected they keep them separate they segment I don't know if that's the right word they segment they segment everything um, yeah so that people don't see the big picture uh, yeah, um, so anyway, um, I am sorry that I'm so upset, uh, but this is real and, um, we need to stay alert, um, and create light, uh, always, always create light. Um, be thankful uh, that you're awake and aware um, and create light for those that aren't. Um, okay, uh, that'll do. Um, I'm getting umming. <laughs> uh, yeah, be safe out there guys. Um, please be safe. Uh, and and creating light for you always um, lava love yous uh, all right see yous